Good morning, Misfits and Dreamers. Bob here. Um, kind of a serious video today, but also a happy video at the same time. Um, I have been given so much from all of you subscribers. I am so humbled that you subscribe and all the gifts that you sent Bonnie and I. So, on that note, I thought to myself, what could we as Misfits and Dreamers do as a group, even though you guys aren't here? to give, and for me to give back. So, I will show you exactly what I am going to do to give back to my community. So come on, join me. All right, as a group for Misfits and Dreamers, we are making community meal for the YWCA of the Greater Capital Region. Um, Worked there for about 13 years. I do not work for them anymore, but I still support their mission. So anyway, what we're going to do is make some big trays of macaroni goulash, as you people call it. And we're going to make a lot of salad. So we're going to feed guys as a group, as misfits and dreamers, we're going to feed anywhere between 50 and 60 people. So I will show you step by step how to do this. The first thing we need to do is your big pots. You got to make sure they're full of water and get them boiling. It's gonna. That's the longest part of this. The rest of it is real easy to cook. It's just a matter of getting your boil the water boiling for your your pasta. So that is the first major. The next one, make sure you have a big pan with a lid. So this way we can cook up all the hamburger and mix the turkey in. Uh, we will cut up all the peppers and onions. We will mix it in with the hamburger and turkey. Um, and then I will go from there. I will show you what that looks like once we are done with that. Okay, guys. And we're going to go prep. So the key piece, if you're cooking for that many people, you need to give yourself a lot of prep time. So give yourself about an hour before you want to cook because cooking is about 85% prep and about 15% cooking. That's basically what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to prep these peppers and onions and we're going to prep our meat. We're going to split it and I'll show you how to mix it together in a bowl, add our spices before we cook it, and then we'll go from there. But the key piece to this too, guys, Again, your pans. Fill them with water, get them going, because that's what's going to take the longest. All right, guys, there is our prepped peppers. There are our prepped onions. Again, the most thing that I can give anybody about cooking is prep time. Once you have all your ingredients prepped, the rest of it is real easy, because, I mean, basically 85% of it is prep time, 15% is cook. All right, there you go. There's all our peppers and onions in our pan. We're gonna leave this on low for a while, put the cover on it, and we're gonna cook these down. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to do our meat. Now, there is one big package of turkey, and there is a big package of beef. What you're gonna do is take half of this and add it to half of this. Season it. Do not, and I stress, do not cook this all at one time because by the time it all cooks, it's the turkey's gonna be dried out. You're gonna have crispy corners on the beef. So do it in batches. I'll show you how we season this. All right, guys, what we put in here is salt-free seasoning. So we're gonna mix this together, and then once our peppers and onions are done, we're going to uh, cook this, like I said, in batches. It's easier. Um, you're not drying out the turkey. You're not getting points on the... Uh, dry beef. So anyway, I'm going to mix this and then I'll show you how to put it in the pan. Alright guys, as you can see, this is basically cooked down. We just added our garlic chopped because if you add it any sooner, we're going to end up burning it. So what we're going to do is turn our heat off, let it sit for a minute, and then this is the key piece guys. You're going to need pans, big ones. If you're cooking for at least 40 to 60 people or better, you're going to need a bigger pans. So I have tons of these. So what we're going to do is transfer our, salt, our peppers and our onions and our garlic into this pan. 
and let it cool and then we'll start browning our meat. Alright guys, as you can see, this is our first batch. It is completely cooked. So now we're going to dump that off into our peppers and onions and cook our next batch. Alright, this is our second batch of meat cooking for the meal we're making for the YWCA and Greater Capital Region Community Meal. And again, we're cooking for probably somewhere between 60 to 80 people, depending. I don't think they'll have that much. It's first in a month. Uh, well, first week of the month, usually, but it's been crazy lately. Anyway, as you can see, both pots are starting to boil. So, when your second batch of meat is cooking, what you're going to do is open your cans of sauce. Because when this gets poured in the other pan, you're going to pour the sauce over the top of it. You are going to uh, stir it in. And then by that time you're possibly done, I'll show you how to transfer bit by bit to make these big trays full of uh, goulash. And then we'll go to make our salads. Alright guys, there is our sauce. There is our pasta. Now, for me. And it's, it's everybody's prerogative. You can do as you choose. But I just drain. I do not rinse. Unless I'm making macaroni salad. Uh, the reason why is the starch that's on this pasta will help thicken up your sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to start saucing this and mixing it together. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Hi right, guys. There is our sauce. There is our pasta. There is one that's already done. So this is how we do it. This is how we feed about anywhere between 60 to 80 people, depending. I don't think tonight they'll have that many because he said it depends on the, the time and the date, uh, whatever today is. So it's like the second week of the month. Most people got food stamps or uh, their checks at the beginning of the month. So, I mean, this basically what people do is come in they try to, with their children or themselves, to try to stretch their food budgets. So I will finish these all up and I'll show you what they look like. Alright guys, there is our three pans of goulash. They are now going to go down into my van. I am in my kitchen cooking. Um, then we're going to get ready to make the salad. And then they'll go down into the van and then we will go deliver these for community mail. So stick around. All right, guys, what we're going to do now is our next gig uh, for salad. Basically, this is spring mix. So we use this as our base. We use the iceberg lettuce here. We'll make ourselves a nice salad. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys, this is our salad. The only thing I did not add is onion because most people take them out. Anyway, most people don't need onion in their salad, so I decided not to put it in. This one over here is a base. We're just going to make uh, Asian salad out of this, and I'll wrap it and put a marker on it. Um, there's people that, that do like to eat the Asian salad down there. So uh, Anyway, I will finish this. We'll wrap them. We'll get them in the truck, and then we'll take a ride and go deliver them, and I'll show you where we're going to deliver them to. All right, gang, we are at the kitchen at the YWCA here. This is the kitchen. I'll just turn, show you guys. This is where community mail comes from. It's always cooked in here. So, anyway, I will show you the pantry. And like I said, I used to work here. This was my area. So now we're getting ready to put our stuff in that big oven right there, electric stove, imperial. And we'll heat it up and then I'll show you where they serve community meal. This is where they have community meal. This is the tables. These are all the nice people. So there you go. Alright guys, this is where we are. We are at the YWCA of the Greater Capital Region. 
This is where we're delivering food. I couldn't think of a better way to thank you guys for my loyalty, being my loyal subscribers. 644 and we're still growing, guys. I am just totally amazed. So, I thank you for subscribing. I dedicate this tonight for all my subscribers and all my misfits and dreamers. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the like button, and we will see you in the next vlog. God bless all of you guys.